One big question I get asked from new final expense agents and those agents coming into final expense is really the simple question of just how competitive is it selling final expense? Well, I'm going to answer that question coming up right after this. Hey, what's up? It's Dave Duford here at Final Expense Agent Mentor at FEAgentMentor.com. Thanks so much for watching it again. And the purpose and reason for cutting this video is to answer the common question of just how competitive selling final expense really is. So it's kind of an interesting business, okay? Now, when we think competition, especially if you come from a business to business arena, what you're going to think of is that, well, what happens if you're in a situation where you go into a business and they want a quote? Um, are you going to have to worry about somebody else fighting for the quote and trying to lowball the deal? Well, first of all, final expense is not like that at all. When you walk into a home of a final expense prospect, as long as they, you're you know, decently uh, respectable, <laughs> as long as they kind of, you kind of exude trust and you kind of know what you're talking about, if they've got the underlying interest in buying, they're going to buy from you. Now, there may be some that may not go for certain situations and you got to be a little bit more sharp as a tack. But more, more, more likely than not, the key here is that you know the person who wants to buy burial insurance is going to do it from the guy who shows up. Okay, The first guy who shows up usually always wins in this particular category. But here's the thing. With that said, that doesn't mean there's no other agents out there. It just means the buying habits and behaviors of the people we deal with are such that you got to be the first in the door, usually. And so here's the thing. As far as a competition when it comes to marketing, it is very much so the case. Most all the big agencies out there do some sort of direct mail leads. Some of them do some kind of telemarketing leads, but direct mail is king in final expense. And what you've seen is, is there's literally, our prospects are getting one to two of these a week. You know, we're talking four to eight mailers every month for the rest of their lives, talking and looking just about the same. And so that saturation effect has lowered response rates for direct mail, which is lowered anyway just by the overall junk mail factor. And so what's happened is it's harder to generate a lead to begin with because there's so much competition because most people respond to these leads because they've seen a million of them and somebody just died or something it just popped up in their mind the, the the reality of their mortality as I like to say and they feel the need to investigate taking care of the inevitable and the first one they reach for sometimes the second one too that's the only thing they sent in and so the problem with that is again it's so saturated that response rates are much lower now, with that said, so from a marketing perspective, just to throw out there, there's a few methods I use, mostly a, a fixed price lead program. That helps keep our cost at a level that's maintainable, that we can expect without much deviation, and keeps life simple. Now, with the, the last thing I'll say about competition is your biggest competitor in the final expense business is that guy looking back at you in the mirror. Not me, uh, but the guy, you. You are your worst competition. Okay, because final expense, while it is simple, it is certainly not easy. You have to go out there every day, unemployed, to find somebody, potentially, to take them from sitting in front of their TV, thinking about something else, to inking on paper uh, money they'll never see. It's an honorable profession, and it's a tough one, too, because we help a lot of people. But we go out there, and we experience a virtual roller coaster of emotions from elation making sales, making a lot of sales, to downright misery and depression when we go cold. And the truth is we sometimes never do anything different. It just happens to the best of us. And so it's a constant internal battle with your mind, with your emotions, with yourself. And many times I tell people the biggest reason people quit is they quit on themselves. They stop believing in the model for whatever reason, good or bad. And so that mentality bleeds over into their results and their expectations, and eventually they go away and quit. Sad as it is, it's the reality. So understand that this business, it is a mind battle. That is what it is primarily. If you can dial into the system of lead generation, learn a basic approach to sell, you're going to do okay if you've got the work ethic. But you always have to battle those inner demons. And for many of us, as I have experienced personally, we have issues that we have to overcome. 
my biggest issue as an agent is I'm constantly, I wouldn't say second guessing, but I'm always looking for some way to improve a scenario. I'm a tweaker. It's like an engineer's mindset. But the problem with that, if it's not kept at bay and, and relegated only when it's affordable to do so, it can, it can send you off in a tailspin and get you off of what works. Because final expense and the marketing process and the sales process and even the people, it's old. It's been around for decades. Nobody's doing anything really that much different today than they were doing 30 years ago. Direct mail gets sent out, people know they're going to die, and they buy a burial plan they can afford. And you got to go out there and see them face to face in most circumstances. So I say all this because you've got to understand that it is competitive like that. And if you can master yourself, you can very much master final expense because that's really what the business is about. Hope you enjoyed this video. Dave Duford's my name. If you haven't already, I think it's on this side. I'm getting it right finally after like 30 videos. I got a no BS final expense weekly newsletter I'd like you to sign up for. I give away a bunch of free stuff, free audios, free scripts, all designed to help you sell more final expense and just get an overall better experience. And then every week I send an email on Wednesday with all sorts of uh, free information, videos, articles, invitations to join my live stream events. So join it if you haven't already. I'd love to see you. I'd love to meet you if you'd like to email me directly and we could correspond. That's totally fine. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Dave Duford signing out. Take care.